Is it permissible to pray with folded sleeves? What if while making wudu, your sleeves get wet and you want to fold the sleeves while praying? Is this permissible? The authentic hadith, the Prophet says in it, alayhi salatu wasalam, I was ordered to prostrate on seven parts of my body and not to fold hair or clothes. So the folding of hair is for someone who has long hair and he collects it in a ponytail, for example. And folding the clothes would be like folding your sleeves or folding this by putting it on the top. And the reason for that is that people do this so that when they bow and prostrate, it doesn't bother them. The hair doesn't fall down with them. The clothes will not come in their way. So they tend to fold it in such a fashion. Some scholars say that this prohibition is for the prayer itself and outside the prayer, which is not logical because folding the hair, braiding the hair for men is normal outside of the prayer. The Prophet used to do it, salam, the companions used to do it, and no one ever said that, why are you folding your hair? Untie it, unless it was for prayer. As for the clothes, it takes the same ruling. As for the women, they are not included in this ruling. This is only for men. Other scholars say, no. The prohibition is directed only for those who pray and fold their clothes or hair for the sake of prayer. So before I start praying, I tend to take care of my headgear and put it on top or put it at the back and tie it so that it would not bother me throughout prayer or fold my sleeves, etc. And all of this for the sake of prayer is not permissible. Now, some people are sinful in the sense that they wear their trousers below their ankles. And when they want to pray, they know that wearing their trousers under the ankles is haram. So they want to fold it. But then they remember this hadith. So they're in a dilemma. Should I fold it or not? The answer is yes. You should fold it because the way you're wearing it is haram. But you should not limit folding it only to prayer. Rather, you should keep it folded throughout the whole day and night. Because the Prophet said, whatever, alayhi salatu wasalam, whatever goes underneath the ankles is in hellfire. So imagine wearing your trousers 23 hours a day underneath your ankles and then you don't want to be burnt in hellfire. That wouldn't be a very wise decision to make. Keep it always folded and there's no problem in folding it for prayer if you don't want to keep it always folded. So coming back to the topic, folding the clothes and the hair for the sake of prayer just before praying, this is not permissible. What I believe personally, and this is my own personal opinion, is that if I work the whole day with my sleeves folded due to hot weather, due to the nature of my work, so I always keep my shirts folded and it's time for prayer, I'll pray like this because I did not fold my shirts for the prayer itself, but rather this is how naturally I am uh, uh, wearing my clothes and Allah Azza wa Jal uh, 